Father, you're incredibly, incredibly gracious to us. And it's out of that graciousness, out of your eternal affection, your love for us, that you have appointed for us to be here in this moment, this evening. God, that you have ordained for each one of these individuals at various points in life to hear your word, to be connected to your spirits, to be awakened, and to by faith trust in Jesus. God, we're excited about this evening. We're thrilled at how you're moving and how your gospel is working. And God, I pray that those being baptized will be encouraged, that those who are here who are a part of this family and connected to you and have trust in you, that they would be encouraged, that they would adore this evening. And we pray for our friends who are here who don't know you. Maybe it's foreign Christianity, maybe thinking Christianity is a hoax. God, I pray that tonight in the lives here, but more importantly in your word, they would see the legitimacy of Christ, the truth, and they'd be drawn home. Father, thank you for the opportunity again to gather. Thank you for the opportunity to worship, the privilege to adore. God, I pray that these lives that have been baptized, dedicated to you tonight, publicly professing faith, that you've done a work in their hearts, would continue on, would persevere on, would remain faithful, would walk in obedience, that we, their church, would rally around them, encouraging them, building them up, and that we, your church, we as individual believers, would walk in faith with us as well. Continue to use your gospel to accomplish your purposes for your glory in this world. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen.